Hello everybody, welcome to the official cast of the round two match in Group H between Bilar and his Chaos and Breaky T and his Lizard Men. We can have a look at the little table here. Um, of course, last night Le Marcelet played Andy Davo and Davo picked up the win. So this is a still very much all to play for. Um, and yeah, anything can happen, honestly. No matter what the result is here, well, if Breaky T loses, he's out. Um, but it could be a draw and both are still live, or it could be a win for Breaky T and both will still be live. So it's absolutely, I mean, it's gonna be really bad for Baylor if he loses, obviously. But he'll have some kind of a chance if he loses. Um, so yeah, so because he'll be playing the Marseille last, right? So he could win, and then he could win that one and be on four. And Devo could beat Breaky T. And so he's actually... They're, they're, whereas if Breaky T loses, he's, he's out. Yeah, yeah. And a draw is going to be really rough for Breaky T. <laughs> um, so yeah, so there you go. Anyway, there, there's the table, right? Bosch. And you can see how they qualified, if you bear with me. Baylar is French. He qualified from AMIS. Oh my god, okay, I can't I can't read this. Necrosoft, anyway, is, is one of the words in there. And maybe he qualified with Chaos, and that's why he chose Chaos. Who knows why anybody would choose to use Chaos in this. Breaky T is also French. Um... Oh, we've got all of their leagues here rather than the one. Blood Bowl Clash is what he qualified from. Um, God knows which one that's presenting. Okay, I'll have to speak to Breaky T because they're only allowed to represent one league, of course, right? One league qualified them. Um, so he's put tabletop for some, but it's it's not. But never mind. Regardless, let's not get hung up on those kind of deals. Right, Baylor's team, he's got Chaos, which I don't think is a very good choice. He's got some skills, but not enough to make up for, you know, being a bad starting team. Um, two heads, tackle, wrestle, block on the ogre, a couple of blocks, a couple of guards. And absolutely standard six block for lizards for breaky T. Break it. I can pronounce it break it, but I'm so used to saying breaky T. And he doesn't mind me saying breaky T, he said. So, um... So, you know, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Breaky T as much as, uh, <laughs> as much as I do. But I mean, I have heard that Break, break It is, is what he would like, but he did, he, honestly, I did, I did say to him and said, look, I'm sorry, I'm so used to Breaky T, I'm fi I find it very difficult. He said, don't worry about it, it's fine, you can call me Breaky T. But I mean, I guess he does prefer break it, yeah. Um, glorious, hello, Samage. Not a live one, but a a, a live replay. Yes, a a live. Uh, you can catch the stream as it's being streamed rather than the vod. Glorious. Not picking up this turn. Um, not what I would have done. I would have definitely, you know, tried to pick it up, but. Like, it's not terrible, right, to not pick it up at the end of the day. Oh, instant removal. Yeah, this is the thing, right? You, you can make chaos. There's obviously an amount of skills. There's an amount of skills where chaos become equal to lizards. I don't think it's this. <laughs> don't think it's this amount of skills, right? But there is an amount of skills where they become equal to lizards. Um, and that's just my opinion. And somebody else can have a different opinion. And that's okay, isn't it? All we have is opinions. Nobody knows anything about Blood Bowl. Ooh, I know that was a bad decision to roll a one there. Absolutely should have not rolled a one. Oh, wow. I don't like abandoning the kind of ball protection before going for the pickup, but works out all right. Oh, 
Oh, feel like this guy should have, you know, held a bit of width. This kind of invites the pressure, right? By uh, tucking in, invites more pressure. But um, it looks like break it. Hey, look at me! It's going to be a bit more glorious, conservative. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious, and I will defend. I will defend. Luckily, you are casting the championships, or I'd have told a joke. Thank you very much, Moradam, for not telling a joke and staying fantastic for 20 and a half glorious beaver pregnancies. Thank you so much, Moradam. And, uh, incredible. Oh, of course, now the ogre works when he's not blitzing. Classic. Oh, look at this. Good. Okay, well, no. Not good. Nearly good. It's actually too far. I think it would have been a rush, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it would have been a rush. But the best play he could have done would, would have been, like, if he hadn't been stood there, right? If he'd been one to the left, he could have got one, two, three, four, five. Blitz there, chain back, and then got another block. But it's not worth a rush. So he, he did the right thing, not going for it. Oh, he's just basing up. He's going to base up, and will he get beaten off? Time will tell. Oh, no, Skull, this was the Garda. Okay, well. No, it wasn't the Garda, it was the Wrestler. Oh, well, that was okay. Crocs straight, not in. Interesting. Breaky T, quite conservative here, right? Like, the temptation is to go in and use your strength, isn't it? If you, if you, like, yes, you can be hard to break through because your strength falls. Like, you know, it's not easy to, not too easy to blitz you. But of course, beastmen can blitz on strength four anyway. So, like, every player on the team blitzes on strength four. So, if they're not in a tackle zone already, the strength isn't so good. Huge power there. That wasn't huge, was it? But it was 50 50. And then that gives him a 2D here. Gonna base the ball. Whoa, excitement. Excitement. Hello, look no numbers. Hello, Evil Moose. Oof. Oh, yeah, I've had things like that before. Yeah. yeah, I don't really like basing everything except the Crocs, yeah. Oh, the double skulls. Dodges away on a two plus. Rolls a two as well. Oh, the ogre. Stupid, stupid ogre. Oh, wow. Four, three dodges from the tackle guy. Other beast man runs back. This is uh, <laughs> very, 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 very dodgy for the chaos. This this stupid ogre is uh, bad, isn't it? Are we are gonna surf a warrior. Yeah. Really, really didn't want the crocs to go stupid, right? Really wanted the crocs to strengthen the other side. So, like, Baylor's really got to try and kick out of this side now. Because there's three players over there to make that serve. So it can almost be worth it. Almost. But not, not really. <laughs> but, but almost. First action, Ogre Block. Let's go. Yeah. I'd have hit the other guy to, you know, get the, uh, if it's a power, you've got the assist for blitzing this guy, but I guess he's just going to blitz him with the guard there. 
No, he's going to take us away. Blitz a skink. Hello, Lamont. Oh. Oh. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> um. Okay, can we pause? This actually isn't that easy, is it? Because, oh, he's clear, he can clear him. I wasn't even looking at this guy. Okay, so this is a rush. Um, another way of doing it was blocking this guy first and see if you pow. And then if you pow, you could bring in an assist here and fill that, and then you could block him. And if you pow him, you can chain him away to get that hit on the ball. And then you don't have to rush. But this way, you're freeing him up for a rush, which is it's a lot easier, isn't it, to get that? Is that a re-roll down with both downs versus block with block? Yes, it was. I guess it was the absolute pressure of um, playing, yep. Also, from his screen, maybe he just thought he had the block from this block there, right? <laughs> the guy behind him's got block. So he could think he could have been playing like this and thought he was block hitting block, right? And you know, it's high pressure, high stakes, scary, uh, you know. Makes the rush, gets the boat down. Full power there. I guess he's gonna like try to dodge out this skink at least. This skink could dodge right and then make that two to two D. I wouldn't have hated that. And so he just goes for the one and gets the KO. Brutal. So that means he gets this skink over there as well. And now it's looking. Pretty horrendous for Baylor. Ah, right, so he just thought it had block, fair enough. Lizards have not done well. Before this match, they had drawn three, lost seven, and won none. They did get pretty unlucky in facing Wood Elves. To be fair, but um, yeah, I still thought they'd do them better than what they have. So the thing here is, like, yes, you can try and set up serves and what have you, but what you really just need to do is chain them away so you can get the ball and score, right? That's number one. So I don't like this blitz. I don't like the scatter. Don't like this at all. Do not like any of this by breaking. Okay, what, what I like doing is this guy blitzes from here, chains him to there, then you, the ball is free and you can go and pick it up, right? That's really weird, going for the... It's turn six. This is a very... This this blitz is way way worse than re-rolling versus that, that ball down, I think, because that makes sense, right? You can just think he's got block and automatic re-roll you know like I did it in my game funny enough uh, yesterday I played an undead game and re-roll because I thought the guy had block and didn't but this seems so obvious to clear this you also get another block out of it as well right and then you can get all three skinks away here and screen the ball that was this was a really weird blitz I guess he was going for the surf eventually like, but no because he would have taken the push there hate that hate that play from him Maybe, maybe tilting, you know, maybe, maybe tilting a little bit at this point, you know, not because it's been a dicing or anything, just because people tilt randomly, don't they? Um, high pressure game, etc., etc. Could have been ill, nervous, anything. A million reasons why somebody could start playing badly. But. 
That was a really weird move to scatter the ball there. When it was like so easy to, to clear. So incredibly easy to clear. Oh, dub skulls. So you can still score, right? You can still score here. Break it. You can just move this guy into range instantly. And then block this guy. And then pick up handoff to him. And then off. Probably wants to 3D with the Crocs first. Because he's got a tackler here, right? We're not three dicing with the uh, crocs first. Makes the hand off. And lizards being. Oh, it doesn't even block. I mean, I guess it is a five. Yeah, I guess the thing is, if you block him, and uh, it's a push, then it's just a. It's just. And if you go stupid, it's. If you go stupid, it's a four three. And if you push him, it's just a four. Whereas now it's a 5-3, isn't it? So, yeah, okay, I understand not blocking, actually. Fair play. Well done, break it. And he fails. The problem is, of course, if you block, you could have just killed him, right? Because it might blow here, right? He could have positioned his players differently to make the uh, block a lot better. And he could have made a Kaz hitting with Mighty Blow. Three dicing with Mighty Blow is pretty good. Three KOs out of four stay out. So <laughs> there's nine players for the Chaos versus a full 11. Also critical, critical here is he has the top tier Halfling cheerleaders. I mean, you've just got to call it at this point, haven't you? No chance at all for the chaos. That is absolutely... That is absolutely GG. The halfling cheerleaders will not be denied. Interesting to not set up to punch the ogre, right? Like, Weird. Yeah, good. As, as long as you recognise that and feel some shame, BB not. That's that's you know that's the first step. Yeah, I'll either bring up the skin here just in case things happen up there. Things happening being this ogre just smashing him instantly. I didn't didn't like that. Don't really like leaving leaving this as a strategy. Like I'm definitely trying to bang out his ogre because otherwise this happens. <laughs> and that's one of the ways you can lose from here. Like it's it's possible you lose, right? It's unlikely, but it's possible and and not punching his ogre and his ogre punching you is, is one of the ways it happens. Ooh, this one could have been a, a knock back, right? I'm sure he's got the movement. So he could have come round and hit from here and pushed him into there if it was just a push. For an additional hit. Which he might not have wanted, but I would have wanted an additional hit. Making a strong sideline push. 2-0 does ice the game, doesn't it, more or less? Oof. Croc stays out, so... Oh, the ogre doesn't blitz. I thought he might have had the ogre, like, blitz this Saurus and, like, base the ball, right? Makes it hard to move the ogre. I guess we can blitz that in Saurus. I 
Makes sense, right? Puts the furthest forward guy. Get something in the way. 1D this. Yep. Good turn from Baylar. Okay, we're gonna 3D with the Crocs. Not much else to come with him here though. I guess the Blitz is the Saurus standing up. Cars. Easy game. Oh, and then 1D the Ogre. Okay, well, getting a power on the Ogre is absolutely amazing, isn't it? So, removal. Oh, dear. It's looking. There's the power. So, yeah, getting that 1D power is pretty great, isn't it? That collapses him even more now. The two removals and an Ogre isolated. This is going to be very difficult. Very, very difficult. I mean, he can't. Just, he hasn't just got to not stop him as well, right? He's got to actively turn him over somehow. He's losing one nil. He's got to actively turn over lizards with like six players. <laughs> oh, he's got a rush. Oh, this is good. Rolled a six, so he could have dodged in and hit the ball. That was an idea. Just spinning up here. Oh yeah, well, up here he's still in, he's moved in contact. Yeah, okay. Well, should have blocked first, right before moving that guy. I think. Ah, well, no, the ball was exposed. Yeah, okay. No, this is this is fine. Well, not even fine. This is optimal, isn't it? No need to make this block and quad skull with the ball exposed. But I would have, like, he could have had a better shape knowing if it was down or not. But uh, this is still very good. If the lizards hold. Against seven chaos, making dice rolls without standing this guy up. I guess he's going to rush back. Stupid Olga, one on the dodge. This could be the end. This turn. Because. Talk about a gaping hole. <laughs> and we've been doing the sensible thing of going through it first. Could have moved this guy first. I, I value that more than blocking, right? Just come up here. I'd have actually had the skink out and source there. Removed. Yeah, this guy should have just gone before the blitz. And that. Oh, never mind. Another Kaz? Oh, God. What a massacre. What an absolute massacre. I mean, it's not even surprising, is it? Chaos are just defenseless with mostly AV9+. Plus. Mostly defenseless, mostly AV9+. Plus. They just get wrecked by good teams. And Lizards are a very good team, despite their record in the tournament before this match. They are a great team, and... Uh, yep, now there's like four Chaos left or whatever. There's really no need to no need to stall it, like, it's fine stalling, right? It doesn't matter, but you could have also just banged it in. Neither one is better than the other, really. 
I guess technically he could quad skull and then he could roll a million dice and power him, but then he could also have scored and then the chaos could have, you know, got a um, timeout and two turned magically and then got a blitz and scored. Uh, you know. Yeah, there's an argument for 3 0. There is an argument for 3 0. That's the thing, if he'd scored, there's probably more chance of him winning 3 0 than there is of him winning 2 1, right? So. I would have probably, I would have probably tried to score in about four and gone for the three nil. I would have been supremely confident with uh, lizards versus chaos, honestly. Especially with him, like you know, starting the second half with no players. <laughs> he started with well, he started with nine, didn't he? He started with nine, but then um, quickly went down more. I like nine's enough, right? Nine, well, nine is enough that you think, oh, I can win this 3 0. Now. Especially as you don't have to hand off to Saurus like you would if it was progression. The scores, no chances taken. Or was it turn 16? I think it was turn 15, though it's saying turn 16 now. I don't know. I, I think it actually was turn 15, but whatever it was. Yeah, honestly, going for the 3-0 would have been a really good idea because there's a chance this group goes to tiebreakers, right? So... Getting an extra touchdown would have been good in the tiebreak, the potential tiebreak situation. So yeah, I think it absolutely should have gone for three 0 But again, that's you know that's hard to do as well in the in the actual game itself. It's different than you know coldly. Analytically talking about it in this it, at the time, you know, he's probably thinking, "Oh God, just let me win two nil," you know. So, completely understand not going for a three nil, but probably could have. And there we go, a two nil win for Break It. Becomes the first lizard man team to win a game in this tournament. Unbelievable. And uh, there you go, you can see the table. That was before the game, so after it now, Brick it will be on three points. And Baylor stays on one. And the final match is Le Marseille versus Breaky T. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> Break It versus. Devo and the Marseillais versus Baylor. So now you'd imagine the Marseillais will beat Baylor, right? Because it's Chaos versus what else? But they're still just a bash team. So they can still just win by just being a bash team, right? Even though they're a bad bash team. The fact that you've got like the clash of styles, it's not it's not you know, it's not an absolute foregone conclusion, but I'd imagine he'll win and qualify. So then you've got, if Devo wins, he wins the group. That is an absolute fact, regardless of what happens with Le Marseille's game. If he draws, he probably qualifies. And if Break It can beat Devo, that will put him on six points. And then, very likely, Devo out. But, um, yeah, Devo will be looking for a draw or a win. But a loss for Devo will probably eliminate him. Though not necessarily, right? Because... Um, Le Marseillais and Baylor could draw, or well, then Le Marseillais probably got the touchdown difference, or Baylor could beat Le Marseillais. Who knows? Lots of things can happen. But there you go. Um, puts himself in with a shot, break it, but it's going to be difficult versus Necro. Um, I think it's just dicey, Shanbei. If the Necros start to dice them, then it gets easier and easier for them. If like, I think the lizards are stronger, but brittle, right? So if if they if they go down a Saurus, then it it can snowball into into bad times. But if if they hold, then um, 
it can get bad for the necro. And uh, yeah, there you go. Commiserations, Baylar. Congratulations, break it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.